Good morning again everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I was recording this video for you on Mothering Sunday here in the UK, Mother's Day, um, and I thought I would share with you what my typical Sunday now looks like. Um, so Sunday I have now swapped out for the day where I'm going to be getting the majority of the housework done. Um, just the general housework, not deep cleaned or declutters or anything like that, just a sort of tidy up, clean and reset. Um, and this is the first Sunday that I have done it. It just so happens to fall on Mother's Day. I did sit around until about 11 o'clock <laughs> um, just to see if any um, sort of sneaky surprises had been planned for me um, but it became quite apparent by 11 o'clock that it was a day in and just a, a pretty standard day. So I started off um, doing my clean in the lounge. My husband was still asleep in the bedroom after an evening of drinking with his friends last night. Um, so I did have to start the clean in my pyjamas so I didn't wake him up. So you get to see me in my glamorous PJs for the first half of this video. And I'm just starting off by clearing off the coffee table and making the sofas. This is where I usually start because when I come down in the morning I make myself a cup of tea and I sit on the sofa and sort of assess what my day is going to be like. And today it was pretty chaotic in the lounge so I really wanted to start there and the coffee table and sofas are the quickest and easiest change to make. After that it was moving over to the other side of the room, popping away the hair straighteners, tidying up a bit of laundry and picking up some shoes and things that had been left on the floor from the evening before. Nothing too major but something that unfortunately is always there waiting for me um, on a Sunday, well any day really, there's always laundry flying around. I don't know if any of you guys are the same but there is always laundry in various forms sitting around the house. There's always dirty laundry sat in front of the washing machine, there's always a load going through the washing machine and there's always at least two loads of clean laundry that hasn't been put away yet. <laughs> so I got that done and then moved out into the kitchen. So I started in here by putting away the washing up from last night which I didn't film but you can see that I've done that. I stuck myself a playlist on to keep myself motivated and to keep myself from getting too um, upset that I was doing this on Mother's Day instead of something more fun um, and then started the washing up from last night. It usually gets done on the evenings by my son, it's his chore, he gets his pocket money for washing up the dishes in the evening after dinner but he doesn't have to do them at the weekends and because yesterday was a Saturday night um, the washing up didn't get done. So I'm doing it this morning. There's not all that much, it just looks a lot today. So I'm going to start off by doing that and then move on around the rest of the kitchen. So it's not a deep clean today. I'm not going to be doing drains. I'm not going to be deep cleaning anything. It's just going to be a small reset. Um, the only thing I didn't film in the kitchen today that I did do was of course the bins. Um, our bin day is on a Tuesday and usually I would do the bins on the Monday. However, I have decided to swap my days around and have Sunday as my deep clean, well, not deep clean, house reset, let's say day, and then Monday is my day off. So I got those done a day early. We'll see how they're looking tomorrow morning. I can add any bits that get put in there to the rubbish on Monday night without problem, but I'm very much looking forward to having a day off tomorrow and just, um, just doing some stuff. I might do a bit of filming. I might sit and do some embroidery. I might go out and do a bit of shopping. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'm very much looking forward to having a day off that's actually off, um, which is why I was so determined to make sure that I could get all of this done today. So I'm almost through the washing up now, and I'm going to leave that on the drainer here to kind of air dry for a little while while I start working on the rest of the kitchen and then I'll come back and dry this with a tea towel and pop it all away before I finish the kitchen. It's time to move on to the worktops. They are not too messy today. 
there's always some stuff left on them um, but there's not too much today so it's quite quick and easy to move all the bits and bobs off put them all away where they're supposed to be and get the worktops cleaned down today I am using my flash multi-purpose bicarb spray um, somebody did ask me what that's like with stains um, I have yet to come across one there was a small blue mark that I did put it on but it lifted off but I was not sure if that was a stain in the first place so I will endeavour to find some <laughs> that um, I can try this stuff out on I'm sure it will do pretty well I know my coasters are pretty stoned I might take it onto that and make a little short out of it and see if it works try different things to lift that stain out <laughs> um, but for now I'm just continuing to go around the rest of the worktops give them a quick clean clear them off make sure they're ready for when we make dinner later on this evening moving on to the cooker top now I'm just spraying it down with the same spray giving it a wipe and today I'm going to give it a quick scrape with the glass scraper I don't love scraping this thing I'm always worried that I'm going to slip and make a huge um, scratch in here that's then going to break but you know it hasn't done so far and it's done a good few years and it gets scraped at least twice a week so it's not too terrible but today I've decided to try and lift some of the grease off of the rings with some washing up liquid. It didn't work, um, but you know, it's an old cooker. I think I told you in a video a couple of videos ago that we have a new um, cooker that we've got our eye on that we'll be getting hopefully quite soon. Um, and this will be going anyway. The new one has a gas hob, it doesn't have this or glass top, which I am very, very keen to see the back of. It's horrible to clean. I know the gas hobs aren't much fun to clean either, but at least they're not like high gloss like this because it shows up every little mark. Time to get that those dishes dried up and popped away. This doesn't take too long, um, but it's something that needs to be done. I used to leave these here and we'd just take them off when we needed them but it looks really really untidy when you've got a rack full of clean dishes that need to go away and it also stops other people from washing up their stuff if there's nowhere to put it on the drainer. So it makes more sense, it's just better to finish the job, do it properly, put it all away and then I'll go and sit for a cup of tea and wait for my husband to get out of bed so that I can actually get dressed and get the rest of house clean but for now let's get this stuff dry get the rest of the kitchen done try and keep on track before I go absolutely mad Okay, so now they are clean, dry and put away. It's time to clean the draining board and the sink itself. And I'm gonna do the taps as well today. Not a huge descale or anything major like that, but they are gonna get a quick once over. They do get kind of grimy through the week and I feel like I'm the only one that really wipes down the draining board and the sink. So by the end of the week, they're looking kind of rough um, and not particularly hygienic to to go through the weekend with with everyone being home so i make sure that these get a good clean um, however i will come through midweek and do that again but yeah by the weekend they're always pretty nasty looking so i've just given them a clean down again with the oh no i don't think i did use the biocarb spray for this one i used the my bleach and um dish soap spray that i made for doing that just to make sure that we're not getting bacteria growing on the draining board so I'm not going to be mopping today, uh, the main reason that I'm not mopping today is because I have left the mop bucket upstairs in my bedroom, um, I had it with some water in the other day because I was trying to take off some of the wallpaper from our bedroom wall and I needed some um, hot water just to help the wallpaper come off a little bit and I forgot and I left it up there. So I can't mop this morning but I can sweep and I will sweep um, just to kind of finish it off, make it feel like it's been 
completed. I will come round later tonight after we've washed up after the dinner stuff and give it a quick mop and it can dry overnight then. So he's finally up. It was 20 past one in the afternoon, guys. 20 past one in the afternoon when he got up out of bed today. Absolutely mad. Um, so I finally managed to get dressed and brush my hair, although it doesn't look like it's been brushed in this. It has, it needs a wash. Um, and I really wanted to give the bathroom a really good going over because I'm gonna treat myself to a nice bubble bath tonight with a few candles and just kind of pamper myself a little bit. A bit of a hair mask, a bit of a face mask, manicure, pedicure, all of that. And I really want a nice, clean, neat, tidy bathroom to um, relax in for a few hours. I think I'm probably gonna pop a film on or an audio book or something, so and listen to that um, while I'm having a nice relaxing bath. I think, you know, if I do that and nice fresh sheets in the bedroom and, and all of that, it's just gonna relax me so that I'm well rested for my day off tomorrow, which I still haven't decided what I'm doing with yet. <laughs> but at the minute, I'm just currently going over the uh, taps at the end. I'm sorry that you couldn't see that, but um, it's kind of awkward to film in the bathroom with a tiny space. Um, and I don't really want to set up multiple tripods because it means I can't really move around the bathroom very well. But you just have to trust me. <laughs> I'm just going around with my dishmatic. Um, and just giving the sides and the base of the bath a little bit of a scrub. There was a bit of soap scum on there. Obviously somebody at some point this week has had a nice deep bath and left that beautiful soap ring around the bath. So I was just getting rid of that and now I'm just rinsing it down with the shower head before I move on to the sink area. Sink's not too bad. Um, I did put some dirty water from my mop bucket down it yesterday and I forgot to come and rinse it out. So there is a bit of ick on it which I'm just cleaning off now. And then I'm going around and cleaning the tap, which is permanently covered in watermarks. Um, I do use my um, lime scale remover and stuff and take the watermarks off at least twice a week. And every time I come back in, there are brand new ones waiting for me. It's just one of those things. I kind of, I was kind of tempted to get matte gold taps. Um, in this bathroom before we had it done and I'm, I've been told that matte taps are awful for showing up marks but I don't know it's anything worse than chrome for showing up marks it's so horrible you can see it all the time it just looks so dirty and, and horrible but anyway I've moved on now to the dreaded shower door definitely hate this thing really miss my shower curtain never thought I'd say that I always wanted a glass shower screen um, because shower curtains tend to get kind of mildew and stuff in them but I genuinely hate this thing it it's horrible to clean and I know I'm gonna clean it and then I'm gonna go back in tomorrow morning and it's gonna be covered in watermarks again where someone's gone for a shower and not cleaned it off afterwards it's permanently covered in watermarks and it looks horrible it looks dirty it looks like we never clean in this house and I really regret getting this I wish we'd stuck with a pole and a curtain that we had to change out every couple of months <laughs> in all honesty because at least you could get like nice seasonal curtains as well you could get like big old Santas and pumpkins and all these fun things but um, you know it is what it is we're stuck with it now and it's not terrible I mean it kind of stops the water getting on the floor we, the seal at the bottom does sort of seal it against the bath but because the shower door moves, the second you kind of touch it, all that water ends up on the floor anyway, so it doesn't really serve a purpose. It just kind of does. Either way, it's done now. <laughs> Moving on to the toilet. Um, just gonna give this a quick clean today. The toilet and bathroom deep spring clean are coming up for you, I think probably next week. Um, the issue that I'm having with filming a spring clean in this rooms is that the rooms are just so tiny. So I think tomorrow I might go down to B&M because I saw a um, like a GoPro style camera that you can mount to your head. I think it's for cycling. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe trying to film like a POV um, deep clean spring clean video, maybe with some like 
um, point of view footage plus like normal footage like I've got here maybe that guys will give you a better look at what I'm actually doing I don't know I'm just worried that the video is not gonna not gonna be very good for you guys to actually see what I'm doing because the rooms are so small but I'll try and figure it out for you hopefully I can figure it out and next week you will have a toilet and bathroom spring clean deep clean um, if not and the weather holds up I'll be heading out in the garden to do a spring clean out there because it really is needed so while I'm in the toilet I'm just going to deal with this here we have a leaky extractor fan the old extractor fan leaked the new extractor fan leaks I think it's more of a condensation within the fan issue than a water getting in from the outside but it's really annoying there's like a perma puddle on this skirting board and there's always like drips of water coming down the wall it's it's not attractive so I try and keep on top of it and get it done as much as I can so now the toilet and bathroom are done I'm just going to give the landing a little bit of a hoover as you can see all our towels hanging out there on the banister um, usually I would take those off so you don't have to see them in the video but I forgot today so real life we have towels on the banisters <laughs> so that we each have our own towel and we know which one it is um, and now for the final room of the day I'm going to be moving into the bedroom like I said earlier I would really like to have nice clean fresh sheets and a nice clean fresh bedroom just to relax in for the end of tonight after I've had my bath it's been a very long week it's been a very tiring week emotionally draining we had um, one of my favorite um, colleagues at work left this week which was really hard um, and it's just been a rough week so to end it all with a nice hot bath a refresh I might do my tan you know just just feel like a whole new woman on the other side of it would be really really nice so for now I'm going to change the sheets and then I'm going to head around the room with my flush spray and just give everything a dust a little bit of a clean and a bit of a tidy up and then after that all we'll be left to do will be a bit of hoover throughout the house and then we'll be all done I cannot wait for it to be finished I was not in the mood for cleaning today like I cannot really describe how not in the mood I was for cleaning today it was music that got me through it I'm one of these people that I find a lot of comfort in music I find it spurs me on to get things done so I put on some of my favorite albums that I've listened to for the last 20 years or so I've had a bit of Muse I've had a bit of My Chemical Romance I've had a bit of Corn, a bit of Nothing But Thieves and it's honestly just kept me going through today music is really important to me so to have something like that something simple like that that I've always got available that can just help me stay motivated and help me get on just makes the world of difference so you can see in this um footage that I've got my headphones on it's because everyone else is doing things and they don't want to be listening to my old lady music apparently <laughs> um, so yeah it, it really really helped me today it got me through and I got everything done and I'm really glad that I've done it but I, I kind of I'm a bit sad that I had to do it on on Mother's Day I was kind of hoping do you ever do that do you just kind of hope that someone's arranged something and then you kind of disappoint yourself <laughs> and it's it's like it's all my own fault like no one said to me oh we've got something planned I just kind of hope and I get disappointed but you know such is life you can't always be full of happy things and trips out and things like that can it so I spent the day cleaning as well it was still a productive day I still got lots done I'm in a fair mood I've got some chocolate next to me I've got a cheeky little vodka coke next to me um and you know I've survived. There's other days we can do things, I suppose.
Okay, so it's time for finishing touches. I'm just gonna throw the hoover around really quickly, get all the little bits of grit and paper up from where I've been pulling the wallpaper off. There is a decorating video coming soon, guys. Just be aware. I'm gonna spray the bed with a bit of the crease releaser. I still haven't got my um, core design yet. <laughs> and I'm just gonna spray the floor with some of my carpet mousse fresher stuff. And that'll be it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you're a mum and you're in the UK, I hope you had a great Mother's Day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.